let us continue to learn the functions of endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum performs a number of functions. Let us see each function of endoplasmic reticulum in detail. The first function of endoplasmic reticulum is mechanical support. It provides mechanical support to the cell. How it provides mechanical support to the cell? Well, it divides the fluid content of the cell into different compartments and thereby it provides mechanical support to the cell. Hence, it is referred to as cytoskeleton of the cell. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is transport. It acts as a circulatory system. It transports lipids, enzymes, proteins to various parts of the cell. How it transports those proteins, lipids uh, to various parts of the cell? Well, that's a good question. It transports those proteins, lipids, enzymes through the formation of a vesicle. Since vesicle is one of the structures of endoplasmic reticulum that are involved in this process of transport. Hence, endoplasmic reticulum function as a cellular circulatory system. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is protein synthesis. Since ribosomes are being attached to the rough surfaces of the endoplasmic reticulum which mediates the function of protein synthesis. At the time of translation, those ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum catch up the mRNA from the nucleus and it forms a chain of amino acids linked each other by a peptide bond and thus helps in formation of different proteins. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is the formation of microbodies. Microbodies are small granular structures filled with granule rich in peroxidase. Peroxidase is an enzyme that performs oxidation. What are those microbodies? Microbodies are peroxisomes and glyoxisomes. Peroxisomes and glyoxisomes are small organelles found within the cell. They mediate the process of oxidation. Peroxisomes is not found in all the cells. It is found in cells like yeast, protozoa, liver cell, kidney cell and in some higher plants. Glyoxisomes are nothing but specialized peroxisomes found in higher plants and filamentous fungi and there also they perform this oxidation process. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis of cholesterol and steroid hormones. You know the cholesterol are attached to the plasma membrane since if you are about to see the structure of uh, plasma membrane you can see that cholesterol is being attached to the plasma membrane structure and that cholesterol is synthesized from the endoplasmic reticulum especially smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The next thing is the formation of steroid hormones. So steroid hormones are also not produced in all the cells. It is produced in testes, ovary and adrenal cortex. A perfect example of the steroid hormones is testosterone. This function is mediated by smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is glycosylation. Glycosylation is the addition of carbohydrate units to the cellular macromolecules like proteins and lipids. Thus, it forms glycoproteins and glycolipids. Glycoproteins is made up of a glycogen and a protein. Since glycogen is a carbohydrate and hence it is a protein and a carbohydrate and those the process that the protein and a carbohydrate binds together is referred to as glycosylation. Glycosylation is mediated by an enzyme called glycosyl transferase. So it mediates the addition of carbohydrate unit to the polypeptide chain of the macromolecule. The next function of endoplasmic reticulum is storage of calcium ions. In sacroplasmic reticulum, that is the endoplasmic reticulum found in the muscle cell, uh, at the time of muscle contraction, the endoplasmic reticulum releases a number of calcium ions into the cytosol and helps in muscle contraction. At the time of muscle relaxation, these uh, calcium ions, large number of calcium ions are pumped back into the 
endoplasmic reticulum and thus it helps in muscle contraction and it stores the calcium ions storage of lipids it helps in the formation of triglycerides and phospholipids it also stores lipids and phospholipids it is the structure of plasma membrane and this triglyceride is formed of three fatty acids plus glucose gives the triglyceride the next function of endoplasmic reticulum is glycogenolysis glycogenolysis is nothing but the conversion of glycogen into glucose it is mediated by the enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase and this enzyme is found inside the endoplasmic reticulum and this function probably happens inside the endoplasmic reticulum which converts the glycogen into a simple simpler carbohydrate molecule that is glucose the next function of endoplasmic reticulum is detoxification detoxification is the reduction of toxic properties of chemical drugs okay so what uh, how detoxification occurs it happens through oxidation or reduction or hydrolysis or through means of any other processes so what happens in detoxification it removes the metabolic waste products such as fatty acids bile salts and it converts those to soluble molecules with this the functions of endoplasmic reticulum is completed and let us join in another video until then this is shanmugwe thank you